Is it sexy to talk about my favorite thing to do with a can of pinto beans on YouTube? Probably not, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Plus, we make a really good steak burrito with them. To start, open a can of beans, which for me are either pinto or black beans, just depending on what I have left in the pantry. Next, you're gonna get out a small spoonful of cumin seeds and also smash two cloves of garlic whole. Then once you're ready, set a pan over medium heat and add 15 grams or about a tablespoon of neutral oil. And once that's hot, toss in the cumin seeds and the smashed garlic and just let sizzle for about 30 seconds until everything is fragrant without burning them like I did because I tried to switch camera angles. Once toasted, just drop the beans into the pan along with a nice pinch of salt. Now optionally, you could drain the liquid and keep the beans whole if you want to, but I like to partially mash them and cook them down into almost a spread, which is a great base for tortas, tacos, or burritos. So after cooking the beans for about three or four minutes, just start mashing them with a fork or a potato masher. And if these look really liquidy, don't worry, they will thicken up as they cool, though you can like pour off some of the excess liquid if you don't want it. Once mashed, turn the heat off and lastly, give them a taste. And this is the most important step. You're gonna add a touch more salt if you need it. Then optionally, I like to add some lime zest and a spritz of the juice for some brightness and acidity. And with that, we have beans that are seriously so freaking good. I'll just sit on the couch and eat these straight out of the jar. But for a fancy show, you could spoon them on a plate with some queso fresco, pickled onions, and a bit of cilantro. So alone they are good, but my favorite thing to do with these is to use them as a spread on a sandwich, taco, or burrito. So let's make a big steak one. To start, get out the steak. I'm using skirt here and slicing it into chunks, then stacking them on top of each other and cutting them into strips across the grain. Now I'm cutting this up because it will season faster, cook faster, and I wanna to try to maximize my browning that I get on the exterior. Add the cut up steak to a bowl and add a sprinkle of salt, 15 grams of mayo, a sprinkle of garlic powder, a sprinkle of cayenne powder, and a touch of smoked paprika before just mixing that together with your hands. Now to a ripping hot pan, toss in the steak and really try to brown the exterior of the pieces of meat the best you can. We're looking to extract all that flavor. Once browned, it should be plenty cooked through, so just remove that and set it aside. Now, for the other toppings, I have some sour cream that I mix with a little bit of chipotle and adobo sauce, then some thinly sliced lettuce, diced tomato, and pickled onions to boot, along with some shredded Monterey Jack. To assemble the burrito, spread some of that Monterey Jack on the tortilla and then lightly warm it up so it starts to melting, and then bring it back and add a nice smattering of the pinto beans before hitting it with the chipotle sour cream. Next, add a heaping handful of that skirt steak, then toss on the lettuce, the tomato, and pickled onion, and then I like to add a little spritz of lime juice and a tiny bit more sour cream over the top. Then to wrap this up, spread it apart just a little bit, then fold the left and right in while tucking the base towards you, and wrap that thing nice and tight as you can. Mine started to crack a little bit because I slightly over toasted it when melting that cheese, but now we're just gonna slice that open and just take a look at that beauty. A stellar show made possible with those beautiful pinto beans. So go make them, eat them on the couch, put them on something, have some fun, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace, y'all. I gotta get another. No, you're, you're just using this as an excuse to eat all the beans and not let me eat any. Yeah.